Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be throwing up a bunch of Kobe White workouts, talking about his offseason, the recent reports about how he's having a big offseason for the Chicago Bulls, talking about some updates, if Kobe's going to be the starting point guard or the sixth man going into this year, and a bunch of Kobe White talk and highlights in today's video. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below. Today's video takes a second and helps me out a lot. And leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video on the Bulls bringing back Kobe White, all these workouts and updates I'm about to jump into. Now, before I jump into today's video, I just want to say huge shout out to Johnny Dribble Too Much. Definitely give him a follow on Instagram. He is Kobe White's NBA trainer, and he also works out with Dalen Terry, Patrick Williams, and DeMar DeRozan. He's one of the best NBA trainers in the NBA. So huge shout out to him. Definitely go follow him on all social medias. He's always putting out pictures and videos of these workouts, which is awesome to see and watch as a Bulls fan. So huge shout out to Johnny Dribble Too Much. But nonetheless let's just jump right into today's video in these highlights now obviously right when the nba offseason did start the chicago bulls did re-sign kobe white on a multi-year contract and let me just say i love that for both sides of this deal i believe this is a steal for the chicago bulls especially if kobe white does continue to get better now i also do believe this is a pretty solid deal for kobe white and i'm very happy that he is coming back and with the NBA offseason kind of being dead right now and very quiet, I thought it would be super cool to throw up all these highlights and updates about Kobe White. Now, DeMar DeRozan and Kobe White's NBA trainer, Johnny Dribble Too Much on Instagram, he was talking about Kobe White, and he did say Kobe White is putting in the work this summer. One of the most underrated players in the NBA, all-star season incoming. Now, I love Johnny Dribble Too Much. I love Kobe White, but I don't see an all-star season coming coming now i do expect kobe white to take another step forward for this upcoming season and the chicago bulls are going to need it now right after the nba season did get finished there, some pictures did come out and a little bit of videos of kobe white working out with chris paul i'll make sure to throw up these pictures and workouts now this is super cool i mean chris paul is one of kobe white's biggest mentors in the nba Kobe White has attended CP3's off-season camps for years now, and he's been working out with him for years now, so that's obviously super cool. Chris Paul is going to be a Hall of Fame point guard one day. And let's not forget this past season how much Kobe White did improve. I mainly want to give a huge shout out to obviously Kobe White for putting in that work, also working out with Chris Paul and Johnny Dribble too much. Now, I thought it was pretty obvious how much Kobe White did improve last season. Now, if you look at his numbers comparing this past season and the year before that, they don't really look much better. And honestly, if you do look at the numbers, they all went down. But just watching him from an eye test, just watching him play basketball, know his role, knock down the shots that he needs to knock down and make the passes that he's supposed to make. He was a much better player last year for the Chicago Bulls. I know Stacey King was commenting on it and he was giving many shout outs to Johnny Dribble too much in multiple games this past season, just really giving him and Kobe White a shout out for Kobe working on his handles, tightening them up and just being a much better, I'd say two way player. Now I'm going to continue to throw up a bunch of highlights of Kobe White working on his ball handling and just working on tightening up his handles. Now, coming into the NBA, especially during his rookie season, I thought Kobe White was really loose with the basketball. And now, comparing his rookie season handles to current day, it is night and day. And I also can say confidently, that is the same with Kobe White's defense. This past season, Kobe White looked like a completely different player, just given his handles and how much he was competing and trying on the defensive side of the basketball. Now, going into this year, it's a big question mark. Is Kobe White going to be the starting point guard? I definitely do believe he has deserved a shot at it i mean obviously the bulls did try that experiment a few seasons ago and that whole situation didn't really work out the best but i feel like since then and now kobe white is a completely different player and he definitely deserves a shot at it now with how aggressive this bulls front office did go out in free agency re-signing kobe white and signing javon carter day one right when free agency did start i do expect javon carter to be the starting point guard but it wouldn't surprise me say kobe white does win it over throughout the nba season or or he does beat him in training camp that point guard battle is definitely going to be very interesting and i'll definitely keep you guys updated on that whole situation 
Now, some rumors did come out a few days ago about an unnamed Chicago Bulls staff member talking about this offseason and Kobe White and Javon Carter. And this unnamed staff member did say adding Javon Carter and re-signing Kobe White were big moves for us. I do agree with that statement. Javon will bring some of the defense we lost at the league guard spot with Lonzo Ball out, and he can shoot the basketball too. Kobe White has also come a long way for this Bulls team. We think he could win six man of the year. He's been that good as a bench scorer. Now, I do agree with everything this random staff member did say. I do expect Javon to be the starting point guard, and I do expect Kobe to be the sixth man, but no matter what, if Kobe's starting or coming off the bench, I do believe he has a solid chance at winning sixth man of the year, just because he's a walking bucket, and it's so easy for Kobe White to get hot, and just with him getting hot, I feel like he can win some games for this Bulls team in this upcoming year. Also, it doesn't really matter in my eyes if Kobe's starting or coming off the bench. He is going to be playing a lot of minutes, and the Bulls are going to need his three-point shooting. I mean, for this past season, he did shoot about 37% from three-point range, and the season just before that, he did shoot 39%. This man is a knockdown shooter, and especially with Kobe White working on his defense and his handles, he is no longer a liability on the defensive side of the basketball. And I also do remember near the end of last season, Billy Donovan did say Kobe White is becoming a two-way player in the NBA, and I couldn't agree more. I'm expecting a big year out of Kobe White, especially with him signing this contract and that getting out of his head. And let's also not forget, Kobe White, since he has been with the Bulls, he has been in so many trade rumors, and that has not bothered him at all. He has been in the gym, working on his game, getting better year by year. I know I've said it multiple times in this video, and I'm going to continue to say it. I believe Kobe White is going to take another step forward for this upcoming year. And given how this Bulls front office has operated this offseason, they're going to need these young guys to take a big jump forward, especially Kobe White and Patrick Williams. Definitely leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video about the reports of Kobe White having a huge offseason. Obviously, all the workouts and updates I did throw up on the screen and talk about in today's video. Also, who you guys expect and want the Chicago Bulls starting point guard to be. I really would like the Bulls to give Kobe White a chance. I truly do believe he does, he has deserved it, especially with how much he has been working on his game this offseason and just how much better he, he was playing and how much he did get better last season even though i really do have a gut feeling it's going to be javon carter hey i'm not mad about it kobe white is going to get a, hopefully a lot of consistent minutes off this bench the chicago bulls are going to need his three-point shooting and like that unnamed chicago Bulls staff member did say kobe white say this bulls team plays better than they're expected to i could definitely see kobe white be in the mentioning of winning six man of the year thank you guys have a good one